A halfway house escapee accused of trying to stab a woman with scissors. And then leading police on a chase through the streets of Aurora. Seven News first on the scene. Multiple cars hit and damaged before police were able to stop the man a short time later near Chambers in Mexico. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn continues to break new details. Russell, police are saying this was a bad guy. And police say he escaped from a halfway house and then this morning he walked into his estranged wife's business and tried to attack her with a pair of scissors. Police then started tracking him. That led to a high speed chase down Mexico partially here and that smashed up car over there is part of the result. He didn't stop, he didn't slow down. A smashed up police car, another one smoking, a totaled out hatchback, the aftermath of one wild chase. He jumped up over the embankment, came across the street, and then rammed his car, and then took off that way. I heard tires spinning. I, I could just hear him going like burning rubber. I look out the window and he's making a U-turn and everything, coming around and just wham straight into the cop car. This is what's left of Rudy Lara's car. He was working at the time. Inside here and then my friend Casey's calling me, Rudy, Rudy, you car, you car. I had to duck out of the way of the trash can over there. He came over the street, over all this, hit that car. I'm standing over there going, oh my God, he might be, he didn't stop. Police say Juan Rivera attacked his ex-wife at her workplace this morning and then led cops on a chase taking out everything in his way. Obviously his, his actions um, and his behavior wasn't rational. Sure enough, he ran in straight into the cop, head on. Police finally stopped Rivera by ramming into his Dodge Ram pickup, but not before he injured and scared dozens. I was shaking for half, half an hour. <laughs> Rivera has had several run-ins with the law. He's now being held without bond, and he's facing several new charges, including felony menacing and felony kidnapping. The good news in all of this, police say there were only minor injuries. They say it's a wonder no one was killed. Live in Aurora, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.